Right, here we go. Got some sad music on. Sad music. It's about to come out with just these two spanners. My dogs have got out of office and all. Get in, go up. In, Ted, in, 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 in. Come on, tribe. Right, and we're also uh, gonna warm this up. Thank you, Claire. Bit of this. I can't turn this camera around when it's when it's filming. We a bit of that. Worked, worked in cabs of diggers, trucks, even fucking tanks, right? And there's nothing in comparison. It's been upside down in a fucking stock car. Ever. Somebody needs to make a quick release prop shaft and gearbox. Yeah, all engines unbuttoned, all ready to lift out. Coolers out, headers are off, everything's off. Wiring looms off, gearbox is out, bell housing's off. So yeah, tomorrow night I'll get it lifted out and then we can get engine bits and uh, see how much damage it has actually done. Um, yeah, see what we can achieve. So what we can see um, before, before I take this engine to fucking it's a bit, it's a sorry for swearing. Um, sorry, my phone was telling me it had a low battery. Um, yeah, it's dropped a valve. Um, the debris from that valve has gone straight across into other bank. So the, 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 the cylinder where it's dropped a valve, it's smashed piston to pieces. Um, to the point you can see Conrad. Uh, and then the shit's gone through to other bank, through inlet manifold. Um, that's obviously got snarled in the, one of the cylinders on that bank. That's crap block. So expert advice uh, for Mark and his dad on the job. And we, we think, I think we might be able to save the engine by putting some liners in it, um, which I've got a block, that's what he does for a living. Um, and we've actually got another engine, just here, look, a Deutsch that we're about to do. That's having that done. It's getting bored out and sleeved. Um, so yeah, when we get it out and in bits, um, as long as the engine's worth, worth doing, um, we'll do it. We'll put some liners in there, and hopefully, I know, it's hard, to, it's hard to say really, but I mean, I know I said earlier, a couple of months ago, that I'd sort of put this on back shelf a bit just because work's busy and that, and it's a massive distraction. And, but I want to, I would actually like to get some more in this year, at least one or two meetings, because um, it's all time, isn't it? It's all time setting car on track, and I know I've not done a lot of it this year, nothing seems to have fucking gone to plan really. But it's all learning, isn't it? And it's still, it's still great. So, I mean, I'm still obviously going out of Kinsling. I'll be spannering for uh, Liam with Mark and helping them guys out and um, yeah, still have a good night and support Liam through the shoot out. Um, yeah, and it's all, it's, all, it's all still learning and in the meantime we'll try to get our engines sorted out. Hopefully I can do a couple of meetings at the back end of the year. Yeah. Um, pretty much in for tonight. Engine's about ready to lift out. I've got all my fucking tools to put away in van. Um, got a lot on tomorrow, really. I know some of you guys fucking swearing. Uh, some of you guys, you're at it till like one, two, three in the morning, but I don't need to do that. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm racing tomorrow or something. Or it's just a nice steady, uh, steady operation. So yeah. Um, again, I can't spin camera on this, so I'll just I'll turn it. I'll stop it. And turn it around. disheartening when we haven't done the right lot to have to do this with engine but when I've done it it'll be pretty much a brand new car so I've got no excuses have I really um, Ian, the Ian Beale uh, meme springs to mind which I've got some uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now I can't go.
It's the last. Yes, as you can see, that valve. Oh, fuck off. Hang on. Two sleepy dogs. Right then. Some grabs were on with. Very busy workshop, as you can see. Right then. So, it had picked up on uh, number one piston, big end, um, and spun the bearing. However, the rest of the bearings have had a bit of shit through them, but as you can see, I think a lot of this is previous, it's been built like this. Uh, it's not some ad, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a stock car engine um, specialist, although I do a lot of engines. Um, yeah, this this is this crank wants grinding. Although I need to see how what size plus size, well what plus size shells are available because how far can you go? Uh, a lot of these you can see I can feel them with my nail, so it's it's definitely wanting to clean up. Cam is like brand new, which is great. Um, what else do we find? Cracks, yeah, like on exhaust manifold. And nearly every one of them is cracked like this. Ideal and um, the damage to the head, which I'd worry at this one. Sorry for my uh, shit filming, chaps. Yeah, obviously, that's the valve that's dropped out. Smash seat in set, uh, smash seat, smashed where well, stem sits. Uh, the valve is somewhere. Well, there it is. Look, yeah, that's come off there. That's what I've probably gone in first. Look at that. Yeah, I've got those braids that up. What a learn that braze. That's fucking horrific. I do apologise if you are watching this, whoever's done it, but it looks like a gold nugget of fucking Parker's Gold Trail. That's not brazing, guys. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of little stuff. Uh, pistons, let's have a look. So, I've been speaking to Mark, obviously Mark's helping us through every stage of this. Um, he hasn't physically been up yet, but he's obviously come up to see what we can do. Uh, Piston-wise, we've got some good rods in, apparently. Uh, which is good. Uh, where's the piston? Oh yeah, that's the fucked one. Yeah, so we'll alley weld that up. <laughs> Joking. Um, yeah, that's the obviously the one that took the brunt of the, 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 the shit. Thrust, you can see there's thrust, there's thrust bearing there. That's had a bit of cop. Um, she's down to the copper. There's the old thrust. That's the bearing that spun. Um, again. Oh, mains looked not half too bad. I mean, like I said, they've had some shit for them, but that isn't anything fucking what you wouldn't expect when you pull an engine to bits. And we do pull a lot of engines to bits. Um, the block is that crack in there, look at that. Which is actually the wall and the liner is very thin. And I think they are plus size piston. So again, I'm going to get Mark to cast his uh, superior eye on it uh, to see what that, that is all about. Can we, can we redo it? Can we not redo it? But yeah, it's fully, as you can see, it's fully stripped down. I mean, even my me, me, me blocks all got helicoils in there. You can see a helicoil sat in there. I mean, there's just, where do you stop spending your money on shit and get something good? I don't know. Uh, that's been welded up there, look. Um, that's been smashed out, that block there. There's a, good, there's a good bit of liquid metal on it and stuff floating around. Um, but will it go again? That's the big question. It will go again, but... Do we want to throw his money into something that isn't ideal? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, like that. Look at that. It's all liquid metal on there. It's just, I don't know. It depends. It depends what Mark says. It, it, it all goes down to Mark now um, to see where we're at. And then, um, yeah, while the engine's out, guys, while the engine is out, we found a lot of other stuff we need to do. We need to sort all this floor out in here. Oh, we're going to chop all that out. Sort all that out nice and new. This bulkhead's made out of fucking tech screws. So that's getting, I'm not saying I'm rebuilding it, but we're gonna put nuts and bolts in it properly. Um, and that's it really. Um, steering box maybe is the way the power steering wants mounting a bit better. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit to do on car again. I mean, it's like a brand new car this one, it's time we're done. But yeah, it's just this, um, just this engine now, isn't it? I mean, where do you, like I said, where do you stop spending 
plowing money into something that's just not going to last or be reliable. I mean, we want something. We want some. I don't know how to turn this camera well, out. When engine, uh, engine's fully in bits now. Uh, we've renamed the engine uh, Captain Crack Sparrow simply because it's got it's got more crack than Donny. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's not bad. Everything's repairable. But where do you draw a line on spending money on something that's got as many cracks as my engine has got? Like everything has got Belzona on it, or it's been cracked, or bodged, or every thread's helicoiled. I mean, you've got to draw a line somewhere, haven't you? So I'm gonna have a cup of tea now. It's end of day. Um, have a quick cup of tea, and then I'll uh, I'll show you I'll show you what we've found. Bye.